Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this beam using stiffness matrix method. Before analyzing, let us see the beam one time. In this beam, there are two spans, span AB and span BC. In the span AB, there is a point load 20 kN acting in the center. In the span BC, there is uniformly distributed load 9.6 kN per meter acting for the full span. In the support B, we have a coupled movement 24 kN meter. It is acting in the clockwise direction. Length of AB is 4 meter. Length of BC is 5 meter. In the point A, we have a fixed support. In the points B and C, we have hinged supports. Now, let us find the fixed end movements. First, let us find them in the span AB. In the span AB, there is a point load 20 kN acting in the center. The formulas to find the fixed end movements are minus WL upon 8 and positive WL upon 8. Here W is 20, L is 4. When we apply the values inside the formulas, we are getting M of AB and M of BA. Now let us find the fixed end movements in the span BC. In the span BC, there is uniformly distributed load 9.6 kN per meter. It is acting for the full span. The formulas to find the fixed end movements are minus WL square upon 12 and positive WL square upon 12. Here W is 9.6 and L is 5. When we apply the values inside the formulas, we are getting M of BC and M of CB. In this beam, in the points B and C, there are hinged supports. So, the number of supports where slope occurs is 2. In the point B, we have theta B and in the point C, we have theta C. Now, let us make the fully restrained structure. For that, we have to remove the hinged supports from the point B and from the point C and replace them with the fixed supports. We have made the fully restrained structure. Now let us make the coordinates diagram. In this analysis, there are two coordinates. We are having the coordinates in the points B and C. Because in these points only, we have the unknown displacement, that is the slope. We know the formula to find the slope values. Delta matrix is equal to K matrix inverse into P matrix minus PL matrix. In this formula, first let us find the P matrix. In the P matrix, to find P1, we have to check our first coordinate, whether there is any movement. Our first coordinate is in the point B. In the point B, we have a coupled movement. 24 kN meter. Since this movement is acting in the clockwise direction, this should be applied as positive. To find P2, we have to check our second coordinate if there is any movement. Our second coordinate is in the point C. In the point C, there is no movement. So P2 is 0. In this formula, now let us find the PL matrix. Let us find P1L. Our first coordinate is in the point B. In the point B, we have found two fixed end movements, M of BA and M of BC. We have to add both of them. After adding, we are getting minus 10. Let us find P2L. Our second coordinate is in the point C. In the point C, we have found a fixed end movement, M of CB. Let us apply that. 
in this formula now we are going to find the stiffness matrix to make the stiffness matrix we have to apply unit displacement that is theta is equal to 1 radian in every coordinate then we can use the formulas if the fair end is fixed the formula is 4 ea upon l if the fair end is hinged the formula is 2 ea upon l in the stiffness matrix now let us find the first row for that we have to apply unit displacement in the first coordinate our first coordinate is in the point b in the point b there is a fixed support but when we apply unit displacement we can assume that it becomes a hinged support now let us find k11 for that from the point b we have to look at the other ends in the point a there is a fixed support if the fair end is fixed the formula is 4 ea upon l length of ba is 4 let us apply that now let us look the other end c in the point c there is a fixed support so we have to apply the same formula 4 ea upon l length of bc is 5 let us apply that finally for k11 we are getting 1.8 ei now let us find k12 for that from the point c we have to look other ends in the end b we have a hinged support if the fair end is hinged the formula is 2 ea upon l length of cb is 5 let us apply that finally for k12 we are getting 0.4 ei the values of k12 and k21 will be same in the stiffness matrix now let us find the second row for that we have to apply unit displacement in the second coordinate our second coordinate is in the point c in the point c there is a fixed support but when we apply unit displacement we can assume that it becomes a hinged support we have already calculated k21 let us find k22 for that from the point c we have to look other end in the end b we have a fixed support if the fair end is fixed the formula is 4 ea upon l length of cb is 5 let us apply that finally for k22 we are getting 0.8 ea in the stiffness matrix we have found both of the rows let us apply the values ea is constant let us keep it outside in this formula we have calculated everything let us apply them ea inverse is 1 upon ea we can add these two matrices after adding we are getting these for this matrix we have to find the inverse we can apply all of the values in the calculator and get the inverse if you do not know how to find inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix see the description below there is a link you can click the link and watch the video i have used the calculator and got the inverse after multiplying these two matrices we are getting theta b and theta c now let us make the slope deflection equations and find the final moments first let us make them in the span a b in the equations let us apply the fixed end moments length of a b is 4 meter let us apply that in the point a there is a fixed support in the fixed support there will be no slope so theta a is 0 in the equations after applying the value of theta b we are getting mab and mba now let us make the slope deflection equation for mbc no need to make for mcb because in the point c there is a simply supported end in the equation let us apply the fixed end moment length of bc is 5 meter let us apply that 
after applying the values of theta b and theta c we are getting mbc in this analysis we have calculated all of the moments now let us find the vertical reactions first let us find them in the span ab when we take moment about b we are getting ra by applying this rule we are getting rb1 now let us find the reactions in the span bc when we take moment about c we are getting rb2 when we apply this rule we are getting rc let us add rb1 and rb2 so that we will get rb here i have drawn the shear force diagram using these formulas we can draw the free movement diagram using the direction of the movements we can draw the end movement diagram after combining both of the diagrams we will get the bending movement diagram